Alright lads, welcome to a brand new video and today we'll be reacting to the world of Scottish Twitter. If you've seen my previous video on this, you'll have a little bit of understanding of what it is. But if you've never been on Scottish Twitter before, it's in kind of a world of its own. Um, I'll be going through some of the more recent tweets that have been there. Um, and most of them do go quite viral as well, so you've probably seen them on your timelines. And if you are foreign, you might be confused with what they're saying in some of them. But yeah, I'll be more than happy to go through them with you and maybe teach you a little bit if you don't understand what they mean. So since you did love last one's video, I will be doing this again. If you want to see any more, do let me know. But lads, let's just get straight into it. Some bud was crying, so I asked her what was up, and she said her BF called her a donkey. I said that's not that bad, and she went, he always says it. <laughs> so I can't tell if that's actually happened, or he's just thought that bang of her tweet in his head. Um, if you don't understand, he hoes what donkeys say, and um, just if someone's speaking really fast, cause that's what Scottish tend to do. He always says it, he always says it, sounds very similar, just in case you didn't grasp that one, aye. Remember the days when your dad's mysterious pal could get you a shitey DVD copy of a film that wasn't due to come out for about three years? I am Pay Bumpy. I do remember them days. Unfortunately, I don't have any lying around the house I honestly would show you. I probably do, but I just had a quick look there and I couldn't find anything. Um, but I pretty much what this would happen is your dad or your mum would have a little pal at work, they wouldn't even mention their names, but they could get you any movie you wanted. Whether it was already in the cinemas or whether it was used to come out, regardless what it was, they could get it for you. And pretty much, it would be a little plastic box with a little crappy piece of paper printed onto it, whatever film it was. And inside, it wouldn't even be a thing on the disc, it would just be a plain white disc. And once you did put that into your little DVD player that we had back in the days, it would be the worst quality film you've ever seen. But regardless, you were saving your money at the end of the day to not wait for the film to come out or actually to go to the cinema. But there was a wee twist to it. Apparently, if you did get in trouble from the police, you could get jailed for quite a while because it's um, pirating, if you're aware. You know, the thing KSI cried about a couple of years ago when people wouldn't buy his film and he kept on pirate copying it. Stop pirating the fucking movie! Fuck's sake, man! But if you're under about the age of about 14 currently, I wouldn't say you'd remember this actually happening to yourself when your mum or dad would come home with a little crappy DVD copy. Because we didn't have them online websites that had all the free movies on them, we didn't have that. So we did have to resort to these shitey DVD copies. My 12 year old brother always has more money than me, not sure if he cuts grass or sells it. <laughs> For yous that are not Scottish, um, I'm not sure if any other countries use this type of terminology, but pretty much grass just means weeds or cannabis, um, whatever you call it in your country. How can my brother lose to my heavily pregnant mum in a swimming race, then cry that it wasn't fair because it's two against one? To be fair, he has got a very valid point. Constantly under pressure in Scotland, pressed the traffic light button and felt like the world was laughing at me for being a wee poof. Got offered a new job today, the company specialised in cleaning mirrors, decent play, plus it's something I can see myself doing. To be honest, he's got a very valid point as well. For all my American viewers, or just any foreign, because I know my, I believe I've got about a 40-45% of American audience. So yeah, that's pretty strange, but if, Dan, um, if you're from UK, you can probably guess, but that just means, it's just like, the way Scottish people say doing, Dan. It's just their accent and that's how they write it. A friend went to Santa Ponza and bumped into a guy who got a tattoo mad with it. MWI, that means mad with. Do you have a video? Aye. Okay then, I've had three vodka and cokes. I'm mad at it. Asking for Terry in a row tattoo, and the tattooist thought he said Terry Munro. <laughs> Alright, I'm not got any tattoos myself, but I've seen loads of people get tattoos, and my concern is when people get tattoos, the tattooist normally writes it out, then shows it to them and say, is this what you want? So how is the tattooist wrote it down, showed him it, she's clearly saying Terry Munro, and he's went, aye, that will do. <laughs> Couple of Thai birds asked me to sleep with them, said he'd be winning the lottery. To my horror, they were right. We had six matching boss. <laughs> okay, if you can't already assume balls just means balls, and balls as in, you know, testicles. <laughs> so, aye, that's what he means. Why did the cow go on holiday? Because it had a wee calf. <laughs> okay, so if you don't understand, um, pretty much you will not understand if you don't have an accent that's other than a Scottish. Because when a Scottish say a week off, like if you've got a week off holiday, it sounds like a wee calf, I've got a wee calf. So, a calf is a baby cow obviously, so a wee calf, and wee means little as well, so it just means he had a wee calf. 
Uh, very easy to understand if you're from Scotland, but if you just can't understand that and you're from a different place, I'm sorry. Two dyslexic brothers are cooking in the kitchen, and one goes, can you smell gas? And the other goes, I can't even smell my own name. <laughs> I feel bad for laughing at that. <laughs> Reminder that JK Rowling, a grown woman multi-millionaire, blocked me for calling a made-up character in a book about wizards a specky cunt. <laughs> Why do cunts go mail me when some cunt asks about their new job? Neighbor stands you your part time and home bargains, no undercover with the MA5. Oh. <laughs> so that one's pretty self explanatory. This probably happens in your countries as well if you're not from Scotland. I know I keep on saying that, but I need to keep on making clarification on that. Um, the only bit you won't understand is the wee bit, that just means whiff. It's just Scottish for whiff, pretty much. Um, but I always see people on Facebook saying, oh, I've got a new job today, and people coming, oh, where out, it's nice. And they're like, oh, DM me, PM me, why can't they just say, you know? Why do cunts always pure boast when they tell you they're steak career? I can grass your fucking T-Rex, sorry, I like my food cooked. To be honest, I can relate to that. I like my food cooked as well. I don't know, I don't want no blood running down my shirt or anything like that. And I don't know why, but I just hate the texture of uncooked meat. You know, I just hate that texture. Don't get me wrong, I know some of you guys probably love it. You probably love it more than me anyways, because um, I like my food cooked. Hate me if you want, I don't care, that's how I like to make my foods. I'm 18 on Friday, my grand just said to me, first line is on me. She was meaning for the bookies, thought she wanted to get on it. <laughs> Alright, so the bit of the end on it, that just means like, I don't even know, just getting on it, like when you're out for the weekend drinking or doing whatever else you do. Um, but when it means first line is on me, the first line, um, that's referring to, you know, cocaine, but I. <laughs> So guys, that's all for this video, um, if you want me to react to any more let me know. Scottish Twitter has some really funny videos, so if you ever want me to react to the videos as well, I'm more than happy to. If you did enjoy this, please do leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.